I, I think people come for plastic surgery for when we're talking that we're not talking reconstructive we're talking aesthetic so cosmetic type surgery for many different reasons um, for example um, breast augmentation okay you can use breast implants for many different things you can use them for cancer reconstruction or you can use them for cosmetic aesthetic thing there is obviously some societies pressure uh, but there's also pressure from you know the, the way they feel uh, in, in if they feel out of proportion, and they always have done, then society doesn't make a difference on them. But there are other people that, that do feel the pressure, and they maybe want to look a particular way. And I think there's probably more pressure on younger people, because they're just finding their feet in the world, and they're just bombarded with, with media trying to say, you know, look this particular way, and all these celebrities. I don't like my boobs. I don't like my height. Um, I'd probably say my forehead. I've never liked my hair. I think it started when I was about eight years old and I had to be a bridesmaid for my aunt's wedding and they couldn't get the red velvet bow to stay in my hair because it was too thin and too fine. I'm also quite insecure about the colour of like, my skin tone because I'm quite pale, so I have to use fake tan quite a lot. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'm too small. I'd like to be taller if I could. I've always been the smallest and um, I'd just like to add on a few inches. I got bullied at school. I've just always been really insecure about it. I think Clover has beautiful eyes. They're really warm and expressive and, and bright and they're very pretty eyes, I think. Um, I like her smile. It's like really friendly and pretty and yeah. Uh, you have really straight teeth, like I really like your teeth. <laughs> and you have really glowy skin. Oh. <laughs> I think you're a really pretty girl and I love your eyebrows and your eyes. They're really smiley and yeah, you look really happy. Thank you. There is a definite kind of split in the industry and if your hips are above a certain size if they're one inch over that's it you know you can't do shows you can't do certain jobs and they do sort of try and fit you into a box and if you're not in that box then you're not going to be booking jobs I go to a casting and there's hundreds and hundreds of other girls and you sort of that's the time when you start to worry about how you look and especially your measurements I mean, even my contract says that if I do change the way I look, if I do put on weight, then you can be dropped. It is actually signed in a contract, so there is definitely a pressure to stay the way you are. Certain shows, especially, they are very, very, very tight on your measurements. And even if you bring a card that states, you know, your bust size, your waist size, all the certain measurements that they need, they often think that that card is lying and they'll measure you themselves and I've been to castings where I've had my ankles measured, I've had my wrists measured and it's all very, very exact. And everybody has their bad days, it just so happens that like if I'm on a shoot and I've had a bad day that gets photoshopped out, that gets edited out and you'd never see that. So you'd never see if I had a spot, you'd never see if I had a rash, you'd never see if I had red skin or you know, tired eyes because that is all edited out and therefore you can't try and compare yourself to something that's been edited because that person doesn't look like that in real life. It shows a different person than the person that's actually underneath and I think that causes a lot of pressure and causes a lot of self-esteem issues. People see photoshopped images of models and celebrities and they are comparing themselves to things that don't actually exist. When you look at uh, the fashion magazines or the high-end ones and, and even pictures of celebrities, you end up, if you're not careful, comparing yourself to something that's not actually achievable. The whole thing is an illusion. And that's what I think if everybody understood about fashion, photography, and that kind of um, that sector of, of photography, if you like, um, I think people would understand it a little bit better and it wouldn't do so much harm because undoubtedly it does. Uh, I would never say that just because um, Photoshop is a tool that it doesn't have any kind of power because it does and it affects some people in a very negative way. But I believe 
uh, the way to deal with this sort of thing is through education but if everybody understands how it's used why it's used I think people have a um, a better concept of, of their own body image it's not something that's evil or good it's purely sort of decided on how you use it a lot of the times what certain clients want what certain magazines want is unattainable anyway because it can be very empowering to change your appearance but it needs to be done uh, for the correct reasons and with the correct medical support if, uh, if required. You're buying into a fantasy that doesn't exist. There's going to be imperfections but that sort of makes you who you are.